about to wrap up week one of phase one in Governor Laura Kelly's multi-phase plan to reopen Kansas. The days are going by, but local health officials say we still have a lot of work to do before moving on to the next phase. That's right, and a lack of improvement could actually delay the plan even further. KSNT's Rainy Garcia is live with us now in West Topeka to tell us what local leaders say can help us move on. Raina? Brooke Molly, the Shawnee County Health Department's message was very clear during today's weekly press briefing. Just because we're now in the beginning phase of reopening doesn't mean the virus should be taken lightly. County Health Officer Gianfranco Pizzino says the number of new cases in Shawnee County needs to improve drastically before we can enter the second phase of reopening. Shawnee County saw a sharp increase in new cases last week, and local health officials say while that hasn't been the same for this week, the numbers still aren't great. That's why they're asking people to continue following safety guidelines such as wearing masks in public and practicing social distancing. We are still at the same level as last week. It's not a reason for celebration because that's too high a level at this point in the pandemic. We are still too high. Please slow down and take this order seriously. Take it slowly. It's not time to rush out and, and, and celebrate a pandemic that has gone away because it's not gone away. Dr. Pizzino says they are evaluating the situation on a weekly basis to determine whether stricter guidelines need to be put back in place to help mitigate the spread. So far, they have not had to do that. Now, they say next week's numbers will be a pretty good indicator on whether we can move forward to that next phase. Of course, that's if the governor gives the go-ahead for the state to do that as well. Live in West Topeka, Raina Garcia, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Raina, for all of that.